Mixtapers, we're back for another heart-pounding installment of Mixtape Malarkey. The <laughs> only punk rock game show in existence. And we're back with our featured guest of the week, Douglas of Vanadine. How we doing? Well, man, I'm ready. I, at least I think so. I hope I'm ready. Oh, that's what they all say. I got your death waiver, so it's okay. We're not responsible if anything happens to you. Oh, man. So for those who aren't familiar, Mixtape Malarkey is our very own punk rock game show where we have bands run the gauntlet through trivia and physical challenges trying to earn punky points. We play three games. Each game is worth 360 points to a grand total of a 1080. We do Tony Hawk rules around here. So, are you excited? Yeah, man. Nervous. Uh, Perfect. That's exactly how we, that's exactly the line we like everybody to ride. We want them to be excited, but we want them to be scared for their lives as well. <laughs> so while getting to know you a little bit, I found out that you're also, much like myself, a very big Doctor Who fan. Is that correct? Yeah, yeah. that is correct. Now, we, uh, we here on every episode of Mixtape Malarkey, we always start off with a game called Think You Ought to Know This. It's called Think You Ought to Know This, where we test the medals of your favorite fandoms against you. So, and unfortunately with Doctor Who, there is a ton of information out there. This round isn't timed, but just because I can, let's um over here. Yeah, right here. Let's let's put a let's put a TARDIS down in the bottom corner. I'm gonna put a TARDIS down there in the bottom corner. Perfect. There we go. Now we can start the round. All right. Think you ought to know this. Doctor Who trivia. Oh goodness. So for this uh for think you wanna know this, we ask six questions and each one has a bonus. Each question in this round is worth up to 50 points and the bonus is 10 points to a grand total of 360. Are you ready? Yes, I can be, man. Question number one is what is the name of the doctor's home planet? That is great. Is that your final response? Yeah, pretty sure. That's correct! Yes! Oh, man. That's what's up. 50 punky points right off the bat. Put them on the board. All right. As a bonus, as a bonus, a little bit harder here. Do you know what is the second largest city on the planet? The name of the second largest city on the planet. Don't think so. That's okay. That's okay. Oh, oh man, that buzzer is loud. So, um, I don't think so. Unfortunately, it's not the name. <laughs> um, the name of the of the city is Arcadia. Arcadia. Oh, the Battle of Arcadia. Oh, man. That's okay. We still got fifty punky points on on the board right now. Douglas, question number two is what were the final words of the 10th Doctor before regeneration? I don't want to go. Final? Yeah. <laughs> That's correct. <laughs> oh, I, I know. It's a heartbreaker. Yeah, Every it is. time I, I watch that goodbye. But as a bonus, who played the 10th Doctor? Doctor 10, 10, 10. Gave that famous ten, line, ten. I don't want to go. And it's David Tennant. Final? Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's correct. We got the bonus. <laughs> Ooh, yes. Oh, man. That is 60 points on there. We're up to 110 punky points right now. Not too bad. Two for two on the who. Ooh, I love it when it rhymes. All right. And... The doctor would be so ashamed to find out he regenerated as an American. <laughs> Probably would be, yeah. <laughs> oh, goodness. All right. Question number three. Who is the man that cannot die? Jack Hartnett. Final? 
Yeah. I'm saying That's so. correct. The face of Bo himself, Captain Jack Harknett. Oh, man. That's another 50 points right on the board. Yeah, I love that guy. <laughs> oh, it's hard not to. Oh, yeah. man. John, John Barrowman is just phenomenal. He puts my cost playing the shame. Oh, man. But as a bonus, where does Captain Jack Harkness work? What, com what company does he work for? Which one? Final? Yeah, I'd say so. That's correct, right there. Oh, man. That's 60, 120. We're up to 170 punky points. You're three for three right now. It's looking all fish chicks and, and custard for you. I almost said tartar sauce, but like, no, it's fish sticks and custard. <laughs> oh, goodness. We're having fun here. Doctor Who, think you ought to know this. Question number four. What weapon did the doctor wield while dueling Robin Hood? A spoon. Final? I'd say so, yeah. That's correct. <laughs> oh, man, you really know your who. I thought I was going tough on some of these. As a bonus, what is the prize that is archer? What is the prize that is offered to the winner of the archery contest in that episode? What is the prize being offered? I can't come to think of it. That's all right. That's okay. Can't win them all there. What? What was it? What did you say? An arrow or something. Is that your final? You're going to guess yeah, an arrow? Sure. Go oh, it's a golden arrow, which is still an arrow. That's correct. I'm going to give it to you. I'm going to give it to you. An arrow is an arrow. Thank you. Oh, man. 170 plus six. We're up to 230 punky points right now. You are slaying the Who trivia. Oh, my God. Question number five. What does TARDIS stand for? Time and relative dimensions in space. Final? Yeah. Holy hell, Grand Slam right there. Oh my God. You are killing the Who trivia. All right, all right, as a bonus, why does the TARDIS make that high pitched squeaking sound? Hey. Yep. You can see the leaves, the brakes on. Final? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's correct! Absolutely. Oh my goodness. This is insane. We're up to 290 punky points right now. Oh my gosh. Oh man. Now, it's not part of it. You know who told me like, he leaves the brakes on? The Reaper's not. That's right. Not a good jit man. Not, it wasn't even one of the questions, but you're still crushing it. Oh, my <laughs> God. All right. Final question. For think you ought to know this Doctor Who trivia is, which actor has portrayed the Doctor longer than any other actor? Tom Baker? Is that your final? Yeah. Let's go with that. Hey, a Hail Mary. That is correct. <laughs> Tom Baker has played the doctor the longest. Now, as a bonus, how many years did he portray the doctor? And I'll give it to you if it's a year above or a year below. How long did Tom Baker portray the doctor? Thirteen years. Thirteen? Yeah. Ah! No! That's an X on that one, unfortunately. But he portrayed the doctor for six years and nine months. You absolutely crushed it. Six for did six I, did, on Think You Ought to Know This. You only me. missed two of the bonuses. That gives you 340 punky points on round one. 
nearly a perfect round. Woo, how are you feeling after round one? Pumped, man. Oh, man. I, I, I just have to ask, did I earn the right to this? <gasps> oh, I love the big reveal. I had no idea. You absolutely have earned it. Oh, man. That's beautiful. I. Thank you, man. Oh, goodness. Douglas, are you ready for round two of Mixtape Malarkey? Yeah, let's go for it. All right. This is a fan favorite here on the show. I'm talking about we are setting sail on the high seas because it's time to pillage and plunder. It's a good old-fashioned scavenger hunt. Oh, and who doesn't love a scavenger hunt running amok in their own home? If you get six out of 10, you'll get the points. You'll get 250 points if you get six out of 10. If you get 10 out of 10, you're gonna get 360. So six out of 10, you'll get 250 points. So we are looking for these items, a book with more than 200 pages, a couch cushion, or a decorative pillow. Something musical, always looking for something musical. A towel, because you know, if you're going on any good adventure, you always bring a towel. We're looking for something red. A pair of shoes or boots with the laces tied together. Don't ask why, it's all part of a doctor's plan. I need a video game that's older than three years old. Something with wheels. Um, some kind of adhesive, uh, like tape or glue, not love. Love is the strongest adhesive because it brings two people together, but I need something physical. And <laughs> um, a themed mask or maybe part of a Halloween costume? How do you feel about this? Pretty good, pretty good, I think. Feeling pretty good. Now, this one, is a timed event. You will have five minutes to find these items. Let me get myself ready on the clock. All right, are you, this is why we gotta make sure that we sign death waivers because if you fall down your own stairs, it's not my fault. <laughs> I'll try not to. Okay, you know, we, we like to have fun, but if you're gonna get hurt, make sure you get it on camera. I'll try my best. <laughs> We're going to start the clock. Are you ready? I am ready. In three, two, one. Pillage and plunder. Let's see what you got. And feel free to make some noise over there so it jumps back and forth. I'll be back. He'll be back, mixtapers. Douglas, our guest of the week, sole member of Vanadine, coming out of Stockholm, Sweden currently pillaging and plundering his home to somehow save the, the universe uh, with the doctor. What do we got? It's a giant size X-Men. Oh, definitely over 200 pages. That's one. Couch cushion. Couch cushion, that's two. Uh, a musical. A guitar. No, that's three. A towel, a towel, a towel, I have one. That's a towel. That's a towel. I'm a towel. We're all towels. A red bait. Oh, something red. There we go. We're halfway there already with only a minute gone. Impressive timing. Unbelievable. Okay. Maybe one of our fastest rounds. We'll find out. We're still looking for a pair of shoes or boots with the laces tied together. A video game older than three years old, something with wheels, some kind of an adhesive, and a themed mask or Halloween costume. Can Douglas do it? A minute and a half now off the clock, three and a half minutes remaining as he pillages and plunders through his home. Oh, goodness. Can he do it? We and the rest of the world silently wait. Here's a pair of shoes tied together. Pair of shoes tied together. That's six. We got 250 points. Can you get the bonus? And an old video game. Halo 2, right there. That's an old game. Uh, something with wheels. Let's do this. Hey. 
Something with wheels. Something with wheels. It's got casters. Those are wheels. Two more. And then an adhesive of some kind and a fiend mask for the Halloween costume. He will be back. Two minutes, 20 seconds have passed mixed tapers. The stakes have never been higher. Oh, goodness. Can Douglas do it in time to get the bonus? We will find out. Super intense, super intense pirate music, intense action music. Ba da ba bum, ba da ba ba bum. Oh, can he do it? Mixed tapers. Three minutes. There's the glue. Oh, he's got glue. We're one away. I'll be back. He'll be back. Less than two minutes remaining on the clock. Oh, goodness, mixtapers. Can you believe it? Oh, my God. Our hearts go out to Douglas as he pillages and plunders around his house, trying to make mixtapers. Yes, part of a house lost him a lightsaber. Stop the clock. <laughs> Three minutes, 36 seconds. Not a record, but an unbelievable job. Oh my goodness. I like the, oh, look at the bathrobe upgrade. Oh no, no, leave it on. I like the bathrobe. Oh, very, very Tom Baker of you. Go classic with it. Yes. There we go. Now you look comfortable. Oh yeah. my God. Unbelievable. That. Perfect round, 10 out of 10. Mixed tapers, give it up for Douglas. Round two, 360 points. Brings you up to a grand total of 700 punky points. Can you believe it? Thank you, dude. <laughs> oh man, this is insane. Phenomenal score. We've got one round left to play. This is a game we love to make bands play here on the show because we know it, it sometimes it's really hard to kickstart the old the old uh, you know the old idea train you know to get the imagination going so we created a game to help you on your musical journey it's a little game that we call lyrical Whoa. genius yes lyrical genius now what this game is is i'm going to give you 10 words and you have 3 minutes to write a brand new original song with those words. Now it can't just be a list back to me. We definitely like creativity. So you're uh, gonna have three minutes to write a brand new Vanadine song for us right now with these words. The words this week for Lyrical Genius are the following. Number one, breakdown. Two, pioneer. Invisible, casualty. Volatile, punky, rush, ignore, dangerous, and wrathful. Wrathful. Not raffle, but wrathful. My list is terrible with TH words, so that's why I send it to you. <laughs> wrathful. All right. Are you excited to come up with a brand new Vanadine track? I hope this I hope this one makes it to the EP. <laughs> well. Probably will, man, probably will. Oh man, if someone were to take Lyrical Genius and actually make a real song for it, I would I would be blown away. I, 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 I bet my co-writer on it. Oh man. I, I, I don't think I'd showed off my suspenders the entire episode and I was like, oh, wait a minute. I need to get a couple <laughs> suspender snaps in here before we start. So, all right, Lyrical Genius, you got your pen and paper. Ready to play the game. Final round here. Think so. All right. We're going to start the clock. And three, and two, and one. Lyrical genius, let's do this. Feel free to make a little sound back and forth so the camera can jump. Unless you want to watch me for three minutes, which is fine. Because I can sit here and I can narrate the entire time. But the clock is ticking and you should be writing. That'd be fun. fine by me. 
<laughs> All right, I will I will narrate and dictate what you're doing. And if the camera doesn't jump back, maybe I'll just put a promo photo of you up here in the corner. Here we go. Yeah. <laughs> Don't let Punky be a distraction because this is my game show and that's what I do. I use wit and charm. And I use that as a tool to distract you from your songwriting process. Imagine my voice is like a big swinging guillotine and you are trying to get to the other side. Mixtapers, lyrical genius happening in the house right now. A minute has passed. We're one third of the way through for those who enjoy fractions out there instead of the exact time. We're one third of the way through our current game, Mixtapers. Oh my God. Yo, where's where's my production assistant? This coffee's cold. You, what do you mean you sent them home? The show's not even done yet. Why are you sending people home when the show's not even over? Come on. This, this is why I can't get good help around here. A minute and a half gone. Oh my God. Oh, you know, I hire these PAs and all I want is coffee. It's really simple. You know, look at this cup. Boom, 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 boom. It's gone. It's empty. It's depleted. It's not supposed to happen. It's a continuity flaw. You know, we hire we hire these kids to run and get coffee. They, we tell them we're going to give them production experience, but it's a lie. We know they're just gophers for coffee. Two minutes have passed. Oh, man. But that's bend what the the, words. What's that? And I bend the words. Like, it's been, instead of rush, it's rushing. Yes, I will allow it. 45 seconds left on the clock. And also, I'm hiring new interns here on the mixtape. If anyone wants to uh, get some some very hands-on experience while making a TV show, you know we've got we've got tons of opportunities here. If you're watching the show, uh, you know don't I can wait. That's all live. We can't edit that out about the production only running to get coffee. All right. Well, if you think you make a really good cup of coffee and you want to get some video experience, just email us, and then I'll make you work 24 hours a day, and I won't pay you. Seconds left, mixtapers. Here we go. In five, four, three, two, one. Stop the clock. <laughs> oh my goodness. All right. Very excited to hear your brand new Vanadine song. Are you ready to? Re are you ready to recite? And you can sing it if you want to. We're not going to stop you. If you want to sing this song, you can totally sing it for us. I won't even try that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's hear this brand new track, Lyrical Genius. Let's hear it. It won't rhyme, but but it, it's more of like a front buttons lyrics or lyric or something, I guess. But All right. That's cool. That's cool. That's cool. Punk is an invisible pioneer rushing his volatile breakdown with a lot of casualties. Um, that's it. <laughs> you got six out of 10. You just, you just made the cuff. Not bad. All right, can we hear it one more time? Punk is an invisible pioneer, rushing his breakdown with a lot of casualties. I like it. I, yeah. like, a, I like a breakdown with casualties. I like it heavy. I like it heavy. Yeah. Oh man. I was trying to work, work in uh, Dangerous and Wrathful too, but you seem like quite the bad guy in the song then, so I uh, sustain myself from oh. using them. Well, it's, it's hard It's it's hard to paint me as a bad guy when I'm dressed like the dog. Yeah, but that's, if I it. Dressed that's, that's it. That's it. That's why. So. That's why oh. I couldn't use all those words, yeah. But that's all right, not bad, not bad. Six out of 10, 250 punky points brings you to a grand total of 950 punky points, making you an absolute contender in this season's matchups. Oh man, how do you feel after running the gauntlet? Ooh. Pretty well. I mean, 950 out of 1080, that's not bad at all. <laughs> that's an impressive score. Well, 
I'm, I'm glad you made it out alive. Me too, man. It was tough. It was tough. Oh, man. Mixtapers, my guest tonight has been Douglas Vanadine out of Stockholm, Sweden. Oh, before we part ways, where can we find your music online? On Spotify, uh, iTunes, YouTube. Uh, just search for Vanadine, uh, doing it on my own, or uh, Betty Pop Punk cover by Vanadine, I guess, Taylor Swift one. Uh, on my socials, Facebook, Twitter, you know, look me up, I probably have it. <laughs> Perfect. Well, thank you so much for joining us tonight. It's been an absolute privilege to be able to sit down, get to know you a little bit, and uh, have a little bit of fun too. Pleasure's all mine.